Hello friends, welcome to Communication Skills for everyone. Today, let's see what are the five creative ways to break the ice. Five creative ways to break the ice. So, why ice breakers are important? So they, so they that they are important because students don't know one another. Well, either depending on how you class organizes or college organizes six classes, so one may use uh, these type of activities primarily at the beginning of this college or academic year. So one can adapt icebreakers into activities to use when starting new topics. It is sometimes easier for students to share their ideas if they know the rest of the class will have to share this too. So there are some of the fun icebreakers one can do with almost any class. So try these icebreakers. One, learn the names. So first one, in order to learn students' names, one can conduct an activity where students take turns saying their name. So you can make this more challenging by having students say the name of the last student to speak or even the names of all students who have already said their name before saying their own name. To make it more interesting and to learn a little more about one's class, ask students to include something specific such as their favorite color, favorite uh, actor, favorite movie, favorite destination by the end of the activity so one should try their best to say every student's name so if students are learning the names of their classmates for the past time conduct some other name activities for practice so here yeah, for one activity have students uh, stand in circle on students turn they should uh, say a word or sentence related to whatever prompt or topic they have chosen and then call out the name of a classmate to go next is the one second one find someone who so if students know one of those names get some get them talking about uh, some of the topics by having them play find someone who wait student ask and answer questions based on uh, like uh, pictures or phrases to find someone for each question so who can answer yes for example uh, for example of this activity do you like or do you have after five to ten minutes depending on the number of questions students have to ask have everyone sit down and call on students to read some of the answers so for example Suraj is like uh, likes cricket this way the class can learn more about individual students so try to encourage students to give sentences about people who haven't had to be mentioned. This gives everyone the opportunity to share something interesting. And the next one, how to talk and remember. So yeah, this is another uh, activity. Get students uh, talking with the people seated around them. So have students to talk to the person to their right about hobbies, for instance. Uh, after a minute or two, have students to turn to the person to their left and talk about another topic. So they could uh, do this as a mingling exercise where students have a limited amount of time to exchange information before moving on to the next person and conversation topic. So it's uh, just uh, ensure to ask some students things they learned about their peers at the end of the activity so that they try their best to remember the conversation they had. Otherwise, they simply do it uh, mechanically or artificial manner. So avoid, to avoid it, uh, it must be asked at the end of the activity. And uh, the next one, what's important? So if the class is quite small, so one can um, also may consider having students think about the three things they would take with them to a deserted island, and then share why they choose one or all of these three things. This is an excellent way of getting to hear about what is important to um, students and how they are able to organize their thoughts and how uh, to justify their uh, options or choices they have selected. So if the class is larger, so this same activity can be conducted uh, in groups so so that it's a good uh, for getting students talking with the one another but i will exclude you for most of the activity so another similar group activity is to have students write down the first word that pops into their head when they hear you say a certain color students can then discuss why they choose certain words in their uh, 
or groups or just the student with the most unusual choice. Explain his choice. After a few minutes, give them another color to think about and uh, discuss. So here yeah, the group should uh, present the class with a brief summary of their discussions towards the end of the activity. So this is also one of the interesting activities to conduct uh, meanwhile and uh, next uh, one is uh, three adjectives that describe you for introductions like you would also have a uh, student choose uh, three adjectives to describe themselves perhaps uh, uh, the end of the year uh, students have fill in adjectives for all their classmates nothing means spirited and gives students a summary of what their classmates said about them in the class activity so this should uh, give students some positive uh, reinforcement and point out uh, their personality strengths so it may be interesting to compare this with the adjectives students choose to describe themselves too so icebreakers are excellent uh, because they provide the students the opportunity to uh, share things about themselves and learn about their uh, classmates so these uh, five activities often get students moving or thinking creatively they can be lots of fun and uh, dissolve any tension or nervousness there might be uh, in the classroom so it's important that students be able to interact with one another easily because uh, learning english is all about uh, communicating or communication so students will need to be comfortable sharing ideas with the class and talking about the students in groups or in pairs on a regular basis so that they can overcome uh, fright overcome uh, fear of uh, stage or stage fear so this uh, wonderful ways uh, this five creative ways to uh, speak in the classroom thank you for watching subscribe my channel for more videos